Hey guys, this is the unboxing video for CKL 922HUA Dual HDMI KVN and Switch. Let's see what's inside the box. It comes with two pieces of uh, standard HDMI cable, two pieces of USB audio HDMI combo cable, and the KVN switch. And the mini USB cable for this wire remote and the power adapter and user manual. This is the uh, back panel. This is PC1 input. This is PC2 input. Each computer needs two HDMI connections. If your computer does not have two HDMI output, you will need good adapters for ports like DVI, VGA, USB-C or display port. The bottom row combines the mouse and keyboard signal and as well as the HDMI signal for HDMI out A. The top row connection is to make sure the HDMI out B will be uh, displayed correctly. This is the mouse board, uh, keyboard port, mouse board, power on off switch, DC power input. On the front panel, these are uh, push button to select computer 1 and computer 2. This is the hockey on off switch. This is the uh, for wire remote connection, USB 2.0 hub port, speaker out, microphone out. This cable is what we call cable A. It has one end with USB HDMI audio jacks. This end must be plugged into each computer. The other end with single HDMI has combined signal including HDMI, USB and audio. This end must be plugged into the bottom HDMI input port so it will work correctly. Next, I'm going to show you how to hook up a PC uh, with the KVN switch. This is PC1 which is desktop. We connect the uh, uh, cable A, HDMI, USB, audio jacks, like that. The other end of the uh, single HDMI must be plugged into the PC1 HDMI input A port. Do not plug this uh, into this port or use any other cable. Now let's connect the second video output which is uh, display port using the display port to HDMI adapter. The other end of the HDMI cable goes to the MP port. This is for PC1. This is the PC2. The cable A connection is already connected. HDMI, USB, audio, and the USB-C output is a second video output using USB-C to HDMI adapter. The other end is also connected like this in A port, in B port. And now connecting monitor A, monitor B, power source, and if you are using a, a wireless keyboard and mouse set which has one USB dongle, plug it into the keyboard port. Now uh, as all everything is connected, let's turn on the KVM. For the first setup, it may take uh, around 20 seconds for the monitor to be recognized. There are multiple ways to switch between computers. You can press the white button on the front panel to switch to another PC. See the switching only takes 2 or 3 seconds. You can also use the keyboard hotkey, hit the right control twice and then port number and then enter.
or simply double click the mouse roller. If you want to hide this KVN behind the monitors or somewhere, you can use this wire remote, which is about six feet long, and simply press the button to switch between computer one and computer two. See, it's quite easy. The keyboard and mouse board on the back side are dedicated for hotkeys. Some special keyboard and mice may not work uh, well from here. If so, you can turn off the hotkey like this. Then these USB ports will become standard USB 2.0 hub ports like this one. Without hotkeys, you can use the white buttons or the wire remote to switch between computers.